Here we are with Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World, episode eight. And yeah, um, last episode quite a bit of quite a bit happened, right? We dealt with the bandits, and we learned basically, I think, probably all kinds of magic, maybe all the magic, maybe not, right? But like we learned, we learned like all the elements and like fireball, waterball, firewall, waterwall, and all that stuff. Uh, fire storm and water storm and all that stuff like it's, it's based all like element plus bolt or ball element plus wall and element plus storm for like single target a wall and like aoe basically and that for like all the elements and we also found the new dungeon the new labyrinth <clears throat> so yeah guess we will see what happens next i guess we go in the next labyrinth and check it out right so yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get this episode. Yeah, this doesn't look like a weapon store, right? <laughs> I guess there would be a shield outside that says weapon store, right? Maybe not. He wants a house so that he can stop holding back with Roxanne, right? <laughs> Fifty thousand. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Because he has a skill with which he can charge the crystals. Right? Leave it uh, to her, okay. Does she have a plan? But yeah, 50,000. I mean, it's quite a bit more, right? 10,000 to 30,000 a year compared to 50,000 a year. It's quite a difference. But it shouldn't be a big problem for Michio, right? Because he can charge the crystals 32 times faster than other people. So, charging them up to get some decent money should be very easy for him, right? So, he should have no money problems. I mean, maybe he does, but I mean, he has an easier time getting money, I guess, than others. Because the crystals are, like, the best money opportunity in the, in the labyrinth. And I mean, maybe he gets into cook uh, into cooking, right? Because he was asking for the uh, mochi, I think, uh, and some fish stuff. So maybe he gets into cooking, which I mean, if he does the uh, food stuff from Japan that the people here in this world probably don't know, that could maybe f get some decent money, right? If he can make a business out of that. I mean, I guess that's like a typical trope in isekai animes, right? That they find some way of making money with something only they know and no one else really knows how to do it, right? From their knowledge from the real world. So I guess food could be his thing, maybe? Okay, weapon shop. Yeah, has a shield <laughs> that says weapons. Oh, he gets a wand. <laughs> he just goes by what looks the best from his appraisal skill. Okay. 
checking out some buildings, some houses. Yep. Okay. Only money if you don't have any. Okay, good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I might get a a, a harem, right? <laughs> so there might be more girls. I mean, isn't that obvious with the color? Indeed. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, because Adventurer can use warps and shit? So is the warp ability something that adventurers have normally? But not but not explorer? Dang. That's indeed big, I would say. <laughs> Pushing down the price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I cleaned the house once. It's better than nothing, right? It's a start. Flush toilet, nice. It must be a big toilet. <laughs>
Oh, really? Mm hmm. Experiments. Oh, we can see through walls. At least as party members. <clears throat> I mean, he needs a big bed eventually, right? For five girls or so. How many are in the intro? Six? Okay, so he can. Okay. Makes sense. Smart, smart. Be cautious. But so yeah, he can use his warp, even though it has shielding cement. 45. That's 5,000 more than I wanted. Okay, he got a house now. Now we can go all out with Roxanne. <laughs> no more holding back. In her store too, right? <laughs> She's pushing herself on him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good job, Roxanne. Furniture, very important. We need a bed. <laughs> the most important part. Okay. Oh, yeah, she doesn't know about that. Let me guess, he's like, don't tell anyone. <laughs> don't tell anyone. Keep it a secret. <laughs> Is there anything he can do that she's allowed to talk about? I don't think so. Okay, back in Veil Labyrinth, not the new one. Level 3. Yeah, what? How is the difference between having a wand and not? Okay. Pew! Two. Okay, three fireballs. <laughs> okay, one more night in the inn. Makes sense if they don't have a bed, right? 
sweet memories of the past. Oh, man, these ears look so fluffy, man. I want to touch them, too. Here we go again. <laughs> I wonder if we get a scene like last episode where, like, everything is covered with error messages. I hope not. But yeah, they cut out the moans. <laughs> Very thorough. Dude. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Here we go again. So sweet, right? I mean, we really don't see many animes where we see relationships like that, right? At least, I mean, like in the Isekai animes. Don't mind me if I do, right? <laughs> And she really likes it. <laughs> now they get the message. Yeah, the bet is delayed, so... You get it tomorrow or so. Well, back to the inn. <laughs> oh, he goes alone to the new labyrinth. I mean, yeah, right, because he has to go inside so that he can warp inside, right? So going alone, he has only to pay one fee. <clears throat> Man, they have a line to go inside. Okay. Yeah, one silver coin. I mean, how much is one silver coin, right? Because we know there is like 10,000 NAS, 50,000 NAS. But then we have bronze, silver, and gold coins, so how much is a silver coin worth? Because when Michio bought Roxanne, she was worth, what, what was it? 600,000? Or so? Or was it 450 after the discount? Or something like that? And he paid in bronze, silver, and gold coins, so how much is the different coin versions worth, right? Like, how much is bronze worth, silver worth, and gold worth? <laughs> what a damn cheater, dude. 
just teleport inside and don't pay anything. Indeed, it would have been nice to see he has a maid outfit, but then the maid outfit would be dirty. Nah, Mijio likes it. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> you are not filthy. <laughs> <laughs> of course. The bed is here. Hey, be happy about it. You can right move on into the bed. I would say that this was the perfect timing. How big is it? Looks pretty big. <clears throat> She's happy. She knows what's coming. <laughs> no interruptions this time. Find out how good the bed is. <laughs> Hell yeah. The ceiling, 18 plus. And here we go. Whole screen error. God damn it. Boop. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely have to rewatch this. I can imagine so. I think the bet is not as important as Roxanne, right? <laughs> After credit scene? No. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, first thi uh, first things first. Um, I think going from next episode again, I think I will watch the uncensored version. It needs editing. If there is stuff like this going on in the episode, right, where we have, like, the loot stuff, right? But I think it's just too good to pass, up, to pass, right? So I think going from next episode, I will start with the uncensored version again and do some editing, right? Um, and see how it goes. Um, so I hope we get some of these moments in the next coming scenes, right? Uh, next coming episodes and not just... Hopefully this wasn't the last episode where we get stuff like that, right? Because the last time where we get, like, moments like this that were, like, heavily censored. Um, because last episode wasn't that extreme, right? I checked last episode, the uncensored version, and it wasn't that bad, technically. <clears throat> but the last episode where things were quite heavy to edit, I think, was episode 4, I think. So... It's been like a few episodes, so maybe if it goes by the same, right, then maybe episode 12 will be one where we have, like, lots of stuff happening. Maybe we get, well, maybe we get another character, right, another party member, and maybe at that point there will be, like, something that will be heavily edited, right? So we will see, but yeah, like I said, next episode I will go with the unedited version again. Uh, with the uncensored version again <clears throat> and do some editing um because like i said it's just too good to pass up on and watching the episode 
seeing the censored stuff is meh. And then having to rewatch it to see the uncensored stuff is ugh. I mean, it's still good to watch the uncensored version, right? But I would like to watch it, like, in my first reaction, right? Because that changes the reaction, right? Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, the rest of the episode, not what I expected, right? I thought we would go into the, into the new labyrinth, right? And do some exploring there. But not really. We just checked it out, like see how it looks and everything, but didn't go into any fights. I'm interested to see if there is new monsters, right? And otherwise it was just like, yeah, more like a calm episode, right? We bought now a house for ourselves and so that we don't have to hold back when we have some nice times with Roxanne, right? <laughs> Uh, so I guess it makes sense because they mentioned it last episode that they want to get a house so that they don't have to hold back anymore, basically. And now we have the house, which seems big enough that we can have more than just Roxanne and Michio, right? So, can't wait to see that. And that's basically it, right? I mean, we have a house that has shielding cement, right? So that you can't use warp abilities to get inside and outside which is interesting because it's not convenient for adventurers they said so maybe adventurers when you become an adventurer maybe then you can use the warp abilities and as an explorer you can't so maybe that's like the the requirement for warp abilities normally that you are an adventurer maybe <clears throat> um but i mean michio we know he can and even the shield cement is not a problem for him what i'm wondering about is so, if shield cement is a problem, couldn't he just go to a random tree and put a warp onto the tree? I mean, he can put it at walls, right? Can't he put it out? Uh, can't he put a warp on a tree or something? Maybe he can, or maybe a stone wall or something—a big rock. Maybe he can. Maybe it has to be like a solid brick wall or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. His cheat skills come in handy again. And again, like, they have a toilet, but to get the toilet, you have to, like, get water from the river or some shit. So, again, very handy that he can use water magic, right? And he has basically infinite water supply as long as he has mana, I guess. Which is, which is like, very handy. So, I guess he can really make a bath, right? Since he can just supply... Since he has, like, basically endless water supply as long as he has mana, he can make a bath, right? Which Roxanne said that only like rich people have that normally because, right? It's like getting so much water at once. It's not that easy. So most people only get like a bucket of water that is warm and that what they used to wash. So he can use a bath. So I hope we get some bath scenes, right? <laughs> Obviously. Um, and yeah, the end scene basically with Michio and Roxanne enjoying themselves. Pretty good again. <laughs> Went all out. Um, I like. I love to see it. Um, yeah. Otherwise, good episode. I mean, we didn't saw any action, but I mean, yeah, that's fine. Next episode, I guess, is when we get into the second labyrinth for real, right? And then I hope we see some monsters. I hope we don't see some woods again and uh, caterpillars, uh, caterpies or whatever, and some goblins. I hope we see some new monsters. That would be cool. And yeah, I'm just... Now at this point, I'm feeling like I want to get a new party member, maybe. I mean, we... I hope we get one... I mean, we don't get one next season, uh, next episode, I think. But I hope that we get at some point this season another party member. Because they basically um, showed us all the party members in the intro and in episode 2 with this weird flashback thing. Or was it episode 3? Where they showed like basically all the party members somewhat. Um, so I want to get at least one more, right? In somewhere in the season. I mean, if it would be based on me, I would like to get maybe the red hair girl because she has huge honker bazonkers, right? Um, but I think <clears throat> he said he wants a blacksmith, right? So I guess we might get a blacksmith. And from the looks of the characters, of the girls, I would say that's maybe the 
girl with the cat ears. She looks like as if she has like this Japanese black uh, blacksmith attire, right? This like uh yeah, I don't know what to call it, like uh is this like blue shirt with like only a a piece of cloth as like a belt or something. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it looks like how m many Japanese blacksmiths look like in anime, I would say, personally. Um, so I guess she could maybe be, be the blacksmith. The red hair girl definitely doesn't look like a blacksmith, I would say. The elf girl, the blonde one, doesn't look like she is a blacksmith. And I can't really imagine that the purple hair elf girl is like a blacksmith. So I guess it's maybe the cat girl or whatever but yeah interesting to see if we get another character another party member in this season or not i mean i'm fine with roxanne but slowly building the harem would be nice too right and man i i, I really want a second season of this so that we definitely get more right i i enjoy this anime a lot right now because it has like good action with the girl right at least one girl but it will have i guess good action with the girls and um i also like the world like not necessarily the world because there isn't that much going on in the world right we have like some towns and then, then the labyrinth that all looks the same the whole time maybe we could go somewhere else in the world like travel a bit and don't just go into labyrinths right um that could be interesting but i like the way Michio thinks like he's very tactical about everything and analytic right so that stuff I enjoy like the bonding scenes basically <laughs> and the um analytic side of Michio I think is very nice and I just like Roxanne's character basically too and I just want to see more right and I want to see more actions with more girls <laughs> So I hope we get a m another season, but I think there are some special episodes, right? Some specials, like two or three episodes, I think, after the season is done, I think. So we have to see. But yeah, oh, good episode, I liked it. Can't wait for the next episode when we go into the next labyrinth, I hope. This time for real. And yeah, hopefully new monsters will hopefully be interesting. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think, and I would say let's get... Uh, and I would say... <laughs> Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.